Hey there, Otto from Sourcegraph here, and today I want to talk to you about local inference with Kodi. A few months ago, we added an experimental feature to Kodi for Visual Studio Code that allows you to have local inference with a multitude of LLMs like CodeLama, StarCoder, Gemma, and others for code completion powered by Olama. And recently, we expanded this feature to support Kodi Chat, so now you can have the full Kodi experience fully offline. In this video, we'll learn how to set up Olama with Kodi for local inference. Let's get into it. So the first thing we'll need to do is download and set up Olama on our local machine. Um, if you don't already have it, go ahead and hit the download button on the olama.com website to download the package and install it. And Olama runs in your terminal, and when it is running, you'll see a little Olama icon in your taskbar. Now, since I already have Olama installed, I'll skip the download step. But to verify that we do have Olama up and running on our machine, we'll open up our CLI and type in olama-help. And if we get this response, it tells us that Olama is installed and it's giving us a number of available commands. So some of the commands here are to serve, to, to start Olama, to run a specific model, or to pull a model from the registry, list our current models, remove models, and so on and so forth. Now, I already have a couple of different models uh, downloaded and running on my machine, and I can check which ones those are by running Olama list. So we can see here that I have uh, Code Llama 70B, Code Llama Latest, Falcon Latest, Gemma, uh, Llama, Mixtral, and Stable Code as well. So I can now run any of these models locally, and there are multiple ways to interact with the local LLMs. I can run them here in the terminal. So if I do Olama run, let's say, Gemma Latest, it's going to take a couple of seconds to boot up and start. But once it does, I'll be able to ask it questions and interact with it directly in my terminal. So here we are, we're running. We can say, write a JavaScript function to add two numbers together, just as an example. And immediately, I get my answer here. Uh, I get my JavaScript code, adding two numbers, get the function, and that works great. Additionally, uh, Olama exposes an API endpoint that we can access directly by calling it. And by default, it is on localhost uh, 11434. That's the port. And then there's a couple of different API endpoints. The API chat endpoint is the endpoint for LLMs that have chat functionality. So for those, we pass in a body request with the model, our messages, and then additional parameter here. I'm just saying stream false so that I get the response in just one request when it's ready instead of getting a stream response where it sends tokens as it prepares them. So same thing. I can call this local, um, local endpoint on my machine at localhost 11,434 and get a response here. I'm, at, I'm asking uh, the Mixtral model to write a Python function that takes in a string and returns the number of vowels in that string. So since I'm not streaming the response, it's going to take about 15, 20 seconds to get the response. And here it is as well. So we use the uh, Mixtral model. And the response that we got back from the local LLM is, here is a simple Python function and the implementation. So. This is very cool. Uh, by just installing and running Olama locally, you can have access to local LLMs running on your machine. Uh, the one caveat here is that if you download a really powerful model, you're going to need very powerful hardware to run it. I am running all of these models on a M2 MacBook Pro that is fully maxed out. I think I have 96 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and for the most part, the smaller models run pretty quickly. But if I were to run any of the bigger uh, 70 billion parameter models, they, they can still run, but they tend to be pretty slow. So let's talk about how you would integrate Olama into Kodi and why you would want to do it in the first place. So while you can use Olama either in the CLI or creating um, you know, post requests here on doing it with Postman, but you can build your own UI to interact with these, one of the big benefits of using uh, a local LLM with Kodi is that you get Kodi's context fetching capabilities for your code base so that as you ask questions, as you get auto completions, we are taking your code base into context so that you get much more accurate, much more relevant results for uh, the particular challenges that you're having. And as I mentioned, local inference works for both code completion as well as chat. And I'll show you how to set up both of those in this video. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code. And here I have a project open. Uh, it is the Sourcegraph marketing website, which is a Next.js application. And I already have Kodi installed. I'm logged in and authenticated, so I can go ahead and write code and get auto completion. So let's say I wanted to add an additional element here. I can just 
start, start typing and uh, Cody will give me auto completions based on what I'm trying to do. And the default auto completion LLM that we use for Cody is called Star Coder. So users using Cody are using the Starcoder LLM for autocomplete, but for chat, we have a number of different options for you. So if you are a free Cody user, you get access to Claude 2, but if you are a Cody Pro user, you get access to um, Claude 3, including Haiku, Sonnet, and Opus, as well as GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 Turbo, as well as Mixtral 8x7b. So you can use any of these LLMs, uh, pretty much unlimited. You just choose which one you want. You can ask your question. So you can say, what does this code do, for example? And here you'll see Cody's context fetching capabilities. We are fetching uh, 364 lines of context from 10 different files, and we get our answer. So again, for every chat that you do, you can choose a different model, or you can just choose a default one, like I'm using uh, Cloud3 Opus here. But let's see how we would change this to use uh, Olama to, to run it locally, because these LLMs, they require an internet connection. They go through a remote API call to, to get in process. So if you were on a flight or if you were in an air-gapped environment where you didn't have access to the internet, you couldn't leverage any of these capabilities. But with Olama, you can. So let's jump in here. And um, the first thing we'll show is how to change the autocomplete or the code completion provider. So to do that, we'll go into our settings here and go into our Kodi extension settings. And I'll search for provider. And by default here, it'll be set to null. So if we click this dropdown and go to experimental Olama, this will tell Kodi that we want to use the experimental Olama capabilities to have a local autocomplete. Now, the other thing we need to do is specify which model we want to use for autocomplete. So if we open up our settings.json file, and you might already have it, but if not, you'll need to add the Cody.autocomplete.experimental.olama options field and specify the URL and the model that you want to use. And here I've already loaded in uh, code llama latest, but you can change it to whichever model you want or whichever model you have downloaded, as well as the URL of where your Olama instance is running on. By default, it will run on 11.434, but if you've changed the port that Olama runs on, you'll have to update it here as well. So I'll hit save. And now when we go into our code, uh, our auto completions are going to be powered by a local model, and in this case, it's going to be code Llama. So if we say image source and wait a second to get an auto completion, actually, let's type in a little more. So we can see the auto completion here, accept it, and see that it runs. Now, how do we verify that uh, this is Code Llama running and not some other LLM and, not, and still not Star Coder? To do that, we can open up our terminal here and go into output and search for Kodi by Sourcegraph as the output source. And here we'll be able to see our um, output for the various actions that Cody is doing. So if we scroll up here, we can see that we had an autocomplete, that we had an insert. And if we scroll up a little bit to find the relevant completion, or actually let's create a new completion. Let's just start here with a new const. So let's say const event logger equals event logger. And we should be able to see right here that the completion logger uh, gave us a suggestion and it called this endpoint localhost 11434 API generate, status was success, and we can see the data that was passed into it, the prompt, the additional context that came from Cody, as well as the model that was being used. So we can go ahead and accept this one. And if we change the model, so if we go back into settings, and let's try to change our autocomplete model to something else. So let's do Olama uh, list. Let's try a different model, for example, maybe this uh, stable code latest. We'll go ahead and update it in here, paste it, hit save, and then go back into our file, Let's clear the current list, and try to get another auto completion. So let's say const. And here we can see our uh, code completion. This time we called uh, the generate endpoint again, and we're getting some additional events here. But the model that we're using is the uh, stable code latest. So that works really well. So now we don't have to be connected to the internet for this to work. <clears throat> the next functionality that I want to show you is using uh, local Olama models for chat. So again, if I open up a chat window with uh, option L, 
I'll see my current list of kind of supported remote models that uh, Cody supports. But to enable uh, local Olama models, I'll go back into the settings here and I will search for Olama. And there is a setting called Cody Experimental Olama Chat. And I will enable the settings. So enable local Olama models for chat and commands. I'll save this and I'll need to restart Visual Studio Code for this change to take effect. So let's close out our VS Code and reopen it. And now if we go into our chat here, let's close up some of these. We'll still see all of the um, remote models that we have, Claude by Anthropic, uh, GPT-3 and 4 by OpenAI, Mixtral by Mistral, but now we see a number of LLMs by Olama. So they all have this by Olama designation. That just means that the model is running locally on your machine. So we have CodeLama, Falcon, Gemma, Llama 2, Mixtral, StableCode, and these are the LLMs that I have downloaded on my local machine, yours will very likely look different. So if we pick a um, model here, so let's pick Gemma Latest here, for example, and now we can ask any question just like we would if we were connected to the internet and talking to any of the other LLMs. So let's include a file here. So let's say Cody CTA and ask Gemma, how do I use this component? And again, you'll see that even with the local LLM, we're able to pull in additional context reading 278 lines from six different files, and we get an answer on how to use this component in our application, as well as some additional information. Now remember, this feature is still very highly experimental, so the APIs might change, the settings might change, how you access this functionality might change, but this is available for you to try out right now and give us some feedback, let us know what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what works, and um, happy hacking.